Welcome back to OK Games, guys. Today, we're doing something a little different. So, I want to start a few series. This is not going to be a series. This is going to be a one-off. But, I can start best of the worst. And I thought, there's a couple things I want to do. I want to do a series opposite that. That is, um, talking about my favorite games. Not my favorite bad games, but just my favorite games. Um, on every console I have. But, today... We're not doing that, obviously, by the title. Today, we're going to talk about what my most expensive games in my collection are. Now, I'm excluding newer console games. I mean, I don't have any newer console games I spent full price on, which if you don't know full price, if you're Canadian, specifically in Ontario, you know new games are usually $79.99 plus tax. After taxes, they would come out to about $92, $93. That's how much they cost in Ontario. I don't know other places, other places do their taxes different. In Ontario, it's uh, 1.13, 13%, I think. Either way, that's what it usually is. I'm not including those games as if I even have enough games to do that. The most expensive games I have on newer consoles are, not even are, it's just one. And that's Catherine Full Body, which was a collector's box, which is why it was like 100 bucks. But I'm, we're not, I'm not including that because that was a box set and we're talking just straight up games. Now, if you're a game collector or a uh, fan of this particular brand of gaming consoles, you would know that some of the most expensive games to get if you're a collector or if you collect games from that console or if you get games for that console, those consoles, you would know Nintendo. Their games are expensive. Like, when I say expensive, I mean like the mo both of the most expensive games in my console, in my not my console, most of my two most expensive games in my collection are games on Nintendo consoles. Now, I would say PlayStation, cause uh, but I don't have any Silent Hill games. If I had a Silent Hill game, that would be on here, cause Silent Hill One for the PS One is like almost a hundred dollars. But anyways, I digress. We're talking about two different Nintendo games, because Nintendo likes to ch like not even Nintendo. It's just resellers like to charge you up the ass for fucking these used games, because these two games in particular are very, very, very expensive. Um, now, like I said, they're in my collection. I'm not going off of all of Nintendo games because there are games on the NES that cost like two hundred dollars. Plus, sometimes. And I'm not talking about that. We're not doing that because I don't have those games. <laughs> We're doing it based off games I have. Just like Best of the Worst is based off the worst games I have in my collection. So, money I've spent. I'm not going to talk about games I haven't spent money on. Because I don't, I don't, I didn't spend money. I'm saying what's the most expensive game in my collection. Um, now, I think a lot of people can guess what console at least one of these is from but um we're gonna go right into it my most the most you know we'll go second most expensive the second most expensive game in my collection is smash bros melee this game i think i spent between 80 and 85 dollars on this it's the second most expensive game in my collection it's a gamecube game so that could explain a lot because GameCube games tend to be more expensive for some reason. I don't know why. Wii games are super cheap. Uh, Wii, Wii U games are fucking just like five bucks at this point. Like they're not expensive at all. GameCube is one of the more expensive. Like if you're collecting or if you're rebuying GameCube games, a lot of the GameCube games are expensive. I don't know why. Maybe because everyone wants a GameCube now, again, even though, like, they didn't show that love for it when it came out. <laughs> people loved the GameCube when it came out, but, like, for some reason, people just go fucking nuts over getting that console again, as if they were like that when it first came out, but they, they really weren't. Like, I wasn't crazy. Like, uh, like, okay, here's the thing. I liked GameCube, but I wasn't overly crazy about it. I just had one. And I wasn't even crazy about re-getting one. I just know a place that had it, and I bought it. And also, the only reason I have this game and it costed me that much is because I wanted a Smash Bros. game. 
But the original Smash Bros. on N64 is, like, I, I was not going to spend the amount that the eBay was charging. Because eBay is, like, not all resellers. I bought from resellers at, like, decent price. Like, they, they sell stuff for a good price. A lot of sellers on eBay, though, out here being Mr. Krabs and just money, 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 money. That's all they fucking like. That's Krabs. Hello, I like money. What in shit? Um, they will charge you, like, way more than what the game is worth. Way more than what even other resellers are selling it for. It's insane. It's insanity to me. People are charging. Okay, when I bought this, someone, not someone. Um, well, yeah, someone. Some reseller was selling just the fucking case for like almost 50 bucks. And I was like, it's a case. It's the game case. I want the game. If I'm going to spend 50 bucks, I want the game. I would at least want a manual. It didn't even have a manual with it. It was just the case. Um, if that's telling of like how much people would fucking spend. People were bidding on this case too. Like they were bidding it up. I bid on it because I didn't know it was just a case. And then when I found out it was, I didn't bid on it ever again. Um... But, you know, I won this in auction, so I got it for cheaper than what some places have sold it for from what I've seen. Because there's a place, uh, there's an actual um, store I've been to that that's selling Smash Melee in case. I don't know if it was with the manual or if it was just the case in the game. But for, like, 90 bucks. And we're back. Um, we are going to take a look at how much Smash Melee is actually worth. Because I could have either gotten a deal or... I could have paid way more than what it is actually worth. No, I've never even been on here for Melee. Let's see. Okay, Smash Bros. Melee, GameCube. Uh, loose, just the disc itself, is worth about $46.15. Uh, complete in box is only worth $62.22. So I, I spent $20 more than what it's actually worth. Um, complete in box. But here's the thing, all my games are going to have been spent more than what they're worth because resellers do not. They'll look at how much it's worth, they'll get the game for that much, and then they'll double the price or they'll add 20 bucks so that they make a profit off of the game. At least that's how some resellers work. Or some just some people just think it's worth more than what it actually is and they don't look into it. New, if it was still sealed, would be worth 162.51. That's my second most expensive game. I spent 80 bucks on it. Because, listen, a lot of my games I buy from... So that's U.S. dollars, by the way. Canadian dollars. Oh, Canadian dollars. I spent less. That was U.S. Okay, loose, it's worth 60-something Canadian. Canadian, I saved. I saved about 5 bucks. Because I, 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 it was 80 bucks. After shipping and, and bidding on it, it was worth 80 bucks. I got 80 bucks. I saved, five, I saved about $4.50. And Canadian dollars, new, is 220 so I saved money on this one. Wow. I am kind of surprised by that. But yeah, that's the second most expensive game in my collection. Now, my most expensive game in my collection, my pride and joy, I've only played it once since I got it because I've been too busy with um, pre-recording other things, but the most expensive game in my collection, I think some people could guess it, to be quite honest, um, it's Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> this is the most expensive fucking game in my collection. I spent the most on this game than I have on any other used game ever. And it's because I want it, in, again, I want it in auction. And I wasn't going to leave them hanging. I, I'm not one to do that in eBay. But also, I got it for what it sells for. Like, it sells for more than what it's worth. Like, fucking of course it does. But this game is so, like, it doesn't go on often. Like, for, say, like, when it goes up on eBay. It doesn't go on as often as you'd think. Um, it's not a rare game by any means. Like, let's be fucking honest about that. Conker's Bad Fur Day is not rare. It's just people love it so much that they don't sell it. But when they do, people will bid it up to, um, like, over $100, which is what I spent on it. I spent 120 bucks on this. I spent $120 on this game. And that's roughly what it sells for. Uh, I know a friend of mine who got it for Christmas one year. Her mom ordered it from a third-party seller, like, some person on Amazon. And she spent 120 bucks plus tax. Plus shipping, I think. So, I think um, I think it's a one twenty is about average for Conker's Bad Fur Day to sell. But I know it's not worth that much. Like if we go back to that website, we'll even maybe go on Am um on eBay 
going back to this website, let's look up Conkers. Because now that it's in Canadian dollars, Conkers bad for a day. Oh, shit. Never mind. I saved money on it. Oh, fuck. It went up. Because on the one app, it says it's 70 bucks. It's worth 70 It is worth $122. So I saved money on it. I, I saved $2 on it. Actually, that's Canadian. If we go down to US dollars, though, it's it's worth 89 Okay. So, yeah, I, well, I'm surprised. Brand new, it's worth, like, fucking almost $400. Complete with box, it's worth $258.12. I'm surprised I actually got it for about what it's worth. Because when I put it into that app, so maybe Game Eye is just not accurate. Because when I put it into Game Eye, it said loose it was only worth 70 bucks. So, let me just recheck Game Eye. Conquers Bad Fur Day, it says it, it says loose, loose, not loose, loose, Conquers Bad Fur Day, this could be American dollars though, um, it says loose, it's worth 90 bucks now, so they've changed it since I last been on here with it, it's gone up in price, since I've last been on here, so I got it for about right, that's insane, I'm surprised, like I'm completely shocked, I keep forgetting that game prices can go up. <laughs> So maybe when I bought this, it was only worth 70 bucks, but now it actually is worth the amount that it says it's worth. Maybe Game Eye is also in American dollars, I'm assuming, because it doesn't say C, it doesn't say CAD or USD, it just says 70 bucks. It said 70 bucks. Let's go back to US dollars? Yep. Yep. It's US dollars. So, uh, because uh, Game Eye rounds to the nearest dollar, so 89.85 is actually 90 bucks to them. So it's in American dollars. So go back to Canadian. <laughs> um, no, so I guess I spent uh, the right amount of money on it. But if let's go to um, eBay and see what it's selling for. Because if it's gone up, that means people selling it have probably boosted the price. Maybe boosted the price. That's fake. Um, you can't see the seller. Uh, this is a fake. It has to be. Thirty nine fifty, no fucking way. Um, also, when I clicked on the on their little ad, they weren't showing pictures of the back. And the problem with that is that Nintendo, first of all, if it was a real Nintendo game, it would have all this shit on the back. But also the screws, I learned that the screws in Nintendo games are metal, and fake ones will have this gray coating on them, so it's like plastic. Um, no real cartridge has that. See, look, made from China. That's fake. From China, fake, non-authentic. And it's not advertising as authentic. It literally just says game cartridge. They're taking like the cartridges that are inside and putting the game onto it and then putting it in their own manufactured N64 like case. So it's and then printing a sticker for it. So these are all all false. See, oh American and Canadian dollar, it's selling for one sixty three 17 shipping. Yeah, it's been boosted because it's this is the in Canadian dollar. They're selling it for 40 bucks more than what it's worth Actually 60 dollars more because they the 17 something shipping Canadian is it just the near mint near mint condition? 199.99 plus 20 shipping. They're selling it for 220 100 dollars more than what it's worth is what they're selling it for All right, let's go to smash melee Really quick, Smash Melee. Let's see, forty-eight, oh, 46. Oh, it's an auction though, so that's gonna get boosted. It has forty-eight left. Uh, let's go buy it now. Fuck it. Okay, buy it now. Seventy-nine ninety-nine and that much. Is it? That's on par with what it was. I spent eighty bucks. It's it's worth eighty. Okay, here's one. Ninety-three ninety-nine. That's not too much over what it's worth. So like I would say that's kind of worth that's like ten bucks more than what it's worth. Keep in mind, mine is like complete with manual and everything. This is roughly around what's worth. Okay, so with Smash, people are a little more um. A little more understandable. Complete. That one's not understandable at all. What the fuck? What is that? Why is why are you selling it for that much, my my man's? What are you doing? Um, I know it was a little weird. I have a lot of games, and I need to find things to do with them, and I just figured, why not talk about, um, 
my two most expensive games. Which, haha, ha, ha, ha it's, of course it's fucking, of course it's fucking Nintendo. Also, there is a price boost on N64 games. So, like, N64 games are always more expensive. Like, even more expensive than the, than the GameCube games. But GameCube games are also really expensive sometimes for no fucking reason. Mario Sunshine sells for a lot, and I got it for really cheap. It was weird to see how much it actually costs sometimes. Uh, but, yeah. Um, I think we're going to end here. This is a one-off. I'm not going to keep doing this. Like, I don't have any other expenses. These were the most expensive that I talked about. But uh, maybe I can talk about the cheapest games I have. The Burger King games. $3 each. <laughs> um, no, we're going to end here. Uh, if you enjoy, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe because I make new videos every Monday through Friday. And uh, make sure to leave a comment. You know, comment to me. What's the most expensive game you have? Or maybe that's like a little too personal information. You don't want to talk about it. Um... Well, I mean, don't tell, you don't need to tell me the price, but, like, what is the most expensive game you have in your collection, if you have a collection? Um, or just, you know, leave a comment. Um, tell me what you think of these games. Do you think these are actually worth what they're saying they're worth? Do you think it's actually worth it to spend <laughs> that amount of money on these? Because, personally, I don't, but it's too late. Impulse buying is a problem. I'm just happy I have conscious bad for a day. Um, but, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode of whatever it is that I make.